Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Joshua Matthew. If you are old here, thanks for coming back. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Today, I'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using Adobe Photoshop 2021. So before any further ado, let's get started. Here is my Photoshop. Then today I'm going to use 1080 by 1080 pixels. Then leave your resolution at 300. And if you are to print it, then make sure that before you design, select CMYK color. Then if it is for social media or online, then you can use RGB color for your design. Then you click on create. This is our Canva now. All right. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start the background design. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import this background here. Then increase the size. Then after increasing the size, so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to blur it. Go to your filter, select blur, Gaussian blur. Now, enter 20.8. Then you click OK. Then after you are done with this one, so the next thing you are going to do, go to your image. Then you select adjustment, then go to brightness and constructs. Then here I'm going to input minus 87. I'm going to use 33. Then you can see how dark it is now. All right. Then the second background image I'm going to bring is this one. Then I will drag it up around the end. Then click OK. Go to your blending mode and I'm going to select soft light and the opacity. Then I'm going to leave it at 74%. Now apply layer mask. Then go to your brush. Then select your brush. Then I'm going to clean over here. All right. So having done that one, and the next one I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring this abstract here so you can see it. But I'm going to choose this one. Then I'll leave it here. Then you click OK. Then after you click OK, then the next thing, go to your blending mode and you select screen. So after you select screen, leave the opacity at 100%. Then the next one I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring this one. You can see it here. Then I'll drag it down at this position. Then you click OK. Then I'm going to change the blending mode to soft light. Then the opacity, I'm going to leave it at 58. So you can see how it is now. Then, then I'm going to bring this image. Then you drag it back here. All right. Then and the opacity. Then I'm going to apply seventy nine. Then I'll leave it like this. After we are done with this one, then this image. Then I'm going to drag it back. 
this image here I'm going to drag it back around here okay All right now that we are done with this one so the next thing now then is my test so then go to your tests so this is my test document and the font i'm going to use in this tutorial is acrobat then ctrl plus c to copy then press t on your keyboard to select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to make it bold then reduce the font size all right so after done with this one the next one we are going to do now then i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool or ctrl plus j to duplicate this one then you drag it down over here then select your test to ctrl a to align it ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to increase the character spacing like this is okay now then reduce the font size then go back to your test again then copy this one Then select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now use 0 for the test character to close. Then I'm going to enter minus 40. Sorry, this is 21. 21 days. Then I'm going to select extra board for the test. Then I will, I will increase the test like this. All right. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then you drag it down. Then double click to alight. Then I'm going to make the correction here 21 then ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste reduce the font size then you drag it up here Right now, I'm going to input the test effect, then select this one, go to your drop shadow, then the opacity I'm going to make it 80, the blending mode is normal, then the angle is 90, then the distance 8, the spread 8. And the size 27 then click OK now copy the layer style then come over here right click then you paste the layer style and another thing again go back to your test then I'm going to copy the team, select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then reduce the font size, then select your test tool again. 
then come over here to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then you drag it down then reduce the font size then go to your drop shadow then click ok to apply the same effect we apply on the first one all right so having done this one the next one again we are going to do then is the dates all right i'm going to use my arrow key to bring this one down like this it's okay then for our for our date then select the test to then why you come over here to copy your test then ctrl plus v to paste Then reduce the size. Then I'm going to change the font color to something like this. Use this yellow. Then bring your icon. Then reduce the size. Then rasterize it then go to your magic tool then you click here hold your shift key while you continue clicking then delete ctrl plus d to deselect then reduce the size Then go back to your test again. Then I'm going to change the background color. That is the font color to white. Then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then highlight this one. Go to your test tool. Then I'm going to apply superscript. Then increase the font size like I always said always remember to zoom out and zoom in to see how your work look like then select your rent angle tool and I'm going to draw a rent angle over here and I'm going to apply this color then duplicate this one ctrl plus j then i'll drag it over here then i'm also going to duplicate this january then i'll drag it here then select your test tool and what I'm going to do is to add two only because it's 22. Then I'm going to select all these tests. That is the date. Then I'm going to reduce the size.
Now duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then drag it over here. Select your test tool, then you highlight it. Then I'm going to type 2023. Okay. Then reduce the size. Then close the space. Then change the font color to this yellow color here. Okay. Then what you do now is to group the dates. Ctrl plus G to group. So here is our date. And I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Then leave the opacity at 80. Then I'm going to reduce the distance to 4 and the spread to 5 and the size to 7. It's okay. Then I'll click OK. Then select this one, also group it. And this is our team. Right. So now we move. The next one I'm going to do, then I'm going to draw a rent angle. Then I will select this red color. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then you reduce. Hold down your Shift key. Then while you reduce it. Now bring it down. I'm going to position it around here. Then go to your property. Then I'm going to unlock this key here. Then apply 50 by 50. All right. So something like this. Then I'm going to apply an effect to it. That's the drop shadow. Then I'm going to change the opacity to 50. Then the distance 3, the spread 2, and the size, I'm going to make it 16. Then apply the same thing to this one. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring an icon nice time, then reduce the size. Then hold your control plus U for U and saturation. Then drag this one to white area. So this is what you got. Then select your test tool. Why I'm going to copy my test from here. Then control plus V to paste. Then the character spacing, I'm going to leave it as zero. Then reduce the size. And you position it here. Then I'm going to remove it from extra board to semi board. Then I'm going to use a rent angle to draw a line here. Then change the color to this 
yellow color then I'm going to duplicate this one Control plus J and I will drag it over here highlight it then go back to your test then you copy it then Control plus V to paste then I'm going to reduce the size of this one Having done this one now, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to increase the test, increase the size. Then select this right angle, use your arrow key then to move it. Alright, so now having done this one, so the next thing now I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then you bring it down here. Select your test tool, then you highlight it. Then I'm going to copy this test here, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then bring it to the center. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then I'll drag it up here. Then move it here. Or I can still leave it. Then leave it here. Then you drag it over here then i'm going to reduce the size of it hold your shift key then while you reduce it this way okay then i'm going to duplicate my test here ctrl plus j then you bring it down then select your test to align it then I'm going to copy the time, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then you drag it here. Now I'm going to group it together. So this is time. So having done this one, the last one is our location. Then I'm going to apply this same red color. Then, and I'm going to apply the same layer style. So then click OK. Then go back to your test, then Ctrl plus C to copy, then go back to your resources and bring this icon, then reduce the size of it, then bring it down over here. Then hold your Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation. Then you drag the brightness to white area. Now select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you bring it down. Reduce the font size.
so as you can see this is what we have here so if you want to apply you can apply blending to this image so any blending option you want then you can apply to it if you want but for me i'm going to leave it this way because i don't want to apply any blending all right because i've already reduced the opacity so it's okay like this all right so that is the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you like it please don't forget to subscribe and share